If you're like, say, 58 and your arms are 18, give up the dream of going to 20 inches unless you put fat and fluid on it. <laughs> just be happy with an 18-inch arm. Get a good workout in. If you get a good pump and you feel good mentally, that's really all you really need to go for. So, This is from Graham McLean. He's a, a regular commentator. Can I say we have a, have a regular name too. Hey, champion, I'm 58. Train quite hard every day and at the stage where gains are very hard to come by. I was wondering if you could recommend a testosterone booster that actually works for guys my age. I've read a lot of stuff on the internet and most of it is crap. But I've been following your feeds for a while now and you come across as the most straight up guys on the internet. So I thought I'd ask you the question. Cheers, mate. Well, Dave's, Dave's testo lies is pretty good. Yep. I've had a few people that have taken that and had their test levels checked and checked after taking it. And it does increase a little bit, but if you're at that age, if you're in America, I'd really try and see about I think going, it's in Australia. Oh, in Australia. Well, still, find someone that sells Sipionate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, nothing's going to work better than that, but if you don't want to take that, yeah, testo lies from species is really good. I don't really know about many other companies because I only know about that one. And I've known people have had blood work done and they've seen a little increase. But at 58, you know, your testosterone level is going down. Whether it is, I never looked into it. I'm sure there's probably some certain foods that probably help. I know licorice and different foods can decrease your testosterone. So there must be natural foods you can probably eat that help your testosterone. But yeah, species one was really good. I know, I think Gaspari had one too. That was meant to be a good test booster. But yeah, you're not going to really know till you try to. Some probably work on people different, but nothing's really going to beat, like I said, a shot of test every, <laughs> cu- every couple of weeks. No, I was, I was actually going to say, like, A, go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. Find, well, you've got to find a good doctor first. Yeah, they'll get your test levels checked. Get your test levels checked. And if they are down, then they'll send you to an endocrinologist and they'll test you and then they'll say, we'll come back in a month's time if you're still low, then, you know, you got to, like I said, jump through hoops and that sort yep. of shit. But you eventually get if it's really low, especially if you just tell them you're depressed, suicidal, you just feel like, man. Yeah. Well, I'd make sure my diet was mm-hmm. good, body fat low, because that, that's a... That's oh, yeah. A- and even just putting extra weight on, you can feel lethargic, you know. When I was bulked up sometimes, it's yep. like... <laughs> I didn't want to do anything. It wasn't because I didn't have good test levels. Just that, you know, once you got extra weight, you just feel sluggish. And if you're eating crap food, you know what it's like when you're eating clean and you lose a bit of weight, you feel full of energy, you're like you're ready to go. And you're just eating fattening foods and you have a big fattening meal. <laughs> I just want to sleep now. <laughs> Another thing I'd say is trains quite hard every day. Mm-hmm. Well, my probably advice would be. So, you know, I'd like to switch it around a bit. You don't have to go hard every day because yeah. when you get to 58, in all seriousness, you're not really, even if you're on gear, you're not really going to gain much <laughs> yeah, muscle. Yeah, yeah. You mainly just want to maintain what you have, keep in good shape, keep the muscle you have. And, you know, you can look better by losing weight because so many times if you diet down, you can look like you've added muscle just from the illusion of the yeah. muscle standing out. So you may just want to stay healthy at that age. And if you can go to the gym and get a good workout in, so I wouldn't really... If you're like, say, 58 and your arms are 18, give up the dream of going to 20 inches unless you put fat and fluid on it. <laughs> just be happy with an 18-inch arm, get a good workout in. If you get a good pump and you feel good mentally, that's really all you really need to go for. So, yeah, so like I don't get people to say, Lee, I'm 60, is it too late to gain muscle? Yeah, probably. 